So today we're going to do uh, rabbit butchery. So what you want to do is you want to get make sure the rabbit is completely thawed and out and ready to go. Right. Um, I usually work with the hind legs towards the right of me first. It makes it easier to work with than if we go the other way. All right. So I've got two items that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my boning knife. And you would use your chef's knife, but I am using the butcher knife. So the butcher knife is uh, what you use if you do a lot of butchery. It works a lot easier, a lot better than uh, just doing the chef's knife, but chef's knife, knife works just as well if you are just doing it every so often. Also, um, a pair of kitchen shears uh, can come in handy too. Okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the hind legs. All right? The way that you do that is you're gonna take the hind legs here, you're gonna turn them so they're closest to you, all right? And my running joke with this is you pretend you're a mafia enforcer and you break its legs. So what you're doing is you're putting your fingers on one side of the legs, you're putting your thumb on the other side, and then what you're doing is you're popping the joint out. So you want that ball and socket to separate. Once you do that, then you take your bony knife and you should see there's like a little bit of a little lip here. This is where like the hip is. You're gonna take your knife and you're going to lay it flat against the hip and run it straight through, all right? Should have very little resistance because you pop that bone out of this uh, joint. I'm gonna turn him around. Again, you've got this little, looks like a little hip joint here. Blade goes parallel, goes right up against, and you go right up under, keeping it parallel, and you go right through. Sometimes it takes a little more like here, the, the bone, didn't, bone didn't pop all the way out of the joint, so I've got to help that along a bit. So you go through, there we go, and separate that out. So you have this little ball right here that pops out of the socket, okay? So those are the hind legs. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the front legs. So to remove the front legs, we take, and what you're gonna do with the front leg is you're gonna lift it up. And what's gonna happen is when you lift it up, you're gonna see this looks like a shoulder blade. That's exactly what it is. It's the rabbit shoulder blade. You're gonna see how it creates this natural seam from the shoulder blade. Okay, lift up. Here's that natural seam from the shoulder blade. So you're gonna take that natural seam. The knife again goes parallel and you just go right through. Do the same thing for the other side. Give it a little lift. You'll see the shoulder blade. Knife goes parallel. Removed the legs. Okay. Next thing we need to do is separate the loins from the rest of the body. So I'm going to lay it like so. I'm gonna pop the breast like so, so it opens up the rib cage for me. Okay. What you're gonna see in the rib cage here, um, we do have a little bit of meat outside on this end, um, and then you get into uh, the middle here. So there's a couple of schools of thought. Those people that like to get as much as they possibly can, they actually take and they run their knife on the outside of this shoulder blade, oh, sorry, the outside of this rib here, and they remove this little part of meat that's on the outside. Um, it takes a little bit more time. You don't get a whole lot of meat out of it. So what you see a lot of people do, uh, especially when you're doing a bunch of these, is they will determine where the actual loin is. So you can see there's a little bit um, right here in the center and it works its way down. There's also some on the outside. And so what they'll do is they will take and take their knife and cut to separate there. And what you're, I'm doing is I'm going right below that last uh, rib joint, okay, right below that last rib. I'm gonna do the same thing the other way here. I'm gonna find this last rib. I'm gonna cut like so. All right. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a separation. So you can see how I um, start that separation. 
what you want to do is use your chef's knife and you can actually go through and it takes a little bit of work it doesn't take it's not too bad but you got to go back and forth a little bit or you can use the heel of your hand give it a little smack and that cuts right through all right so this gives you the loin part now we want to separate uh, where the hip bone and stuff was at. This is that part right here. And it works very similar, but what I find it's a little easier to do is if you fold up the belly meat and turn it around 180 degrees, you can kind of see where it ends. You can see where it opens up, where it kind of opens up like so. This is where the loin begins. You take your knife, do a cut, and you need to get through like so, separate that out, all right? So this here um, makes great stock. So hold on to these uh, to make your stock. Put these off of the pan. Now with the loin, I've got a couple options. So I can take and I can separate the individual piece of meat. So I've got two tenderloins running right here. And on the other side, I've got two loins running on the outside. The problem is, is these are itty bitty. So if you get a tenderloin, you can see this tenderloin is not that big. I mean, in fact, here, let me get my ruler out. The tenderloin itself is like about three and a half inches long is all it is. So, you know, a three and a half inch loin, once you cook it down, um, is going to be a little tougher uh, to work for, especially since a lot of people do braising. So since people do a lot of braising with it, what you'll see is they'll take it and separate this loin into sections, let it braise, and then after it cooks, you can pull the meat off if you choose to. So what I do for that, I turn it back over, and I take my uh, knife here, again, your chef's knife, and I would mark this into like three sections. Okay. Then I take that and I go through. Again, the easiest way, takes a little off. Again, use the heel of your hand or use your fist and go through it. Sometimes it takes a couple of hits, like so, to break it into sections. Um, if you find that, I mean, it's gonna tickle your hand for a few times that you do it. Uh, if you find that you're having a tougher time with it, if you have a nice solid pan, put the pan and act like a hammer. Um, I have seen people take hammers, just be careful because I don't want you messing up your knives or anything. But by doing that, you get your uh, three sections, then all of this meat here, the two back legs, two front legs, the three sections of the loin are perfectly fine for you then to turn around and braise. After you're done braising, uh, you could leave it as it is as far as presentation with the bone in, or let it cool slightly and you can pick the meat off. You pick the meat off of there and put it back in, um, people would be tough to say it's not chicken because it has that same texture. So that is how to break down a whole rabbit.